folks, this is where we left the Whippet. The puppy was airbrushed with rust primer. I recommend you to clean Meng's kits first, since they are slightly covered with an unmolding grease. Paneling effects were reinforced with a black and rust mix. I used a simple brush. Metal parts were covered with masking tape and silly putty. I know it looks odd, but it's effective. And then all surfaces were airbrushed with scratches effects in thin layers. I let it dry for just a few minutes and green moss was airbrushed immediately. The color was applied in thin layers as well, in order to allow panel transparency. Scratches were done with an old brush, a little stick and water. The whole scratch operation should be done in the same session, otherwise the scratch fluid will be harder to activate and you may risk damaging the prime surface. More scratches effects were airbrushed on this area and the stripes were painted with a brush and the help of masking paper. Scratches effects were activated again with water. Since I saw it worked alright on the left side, I went on working with the other stripe markings. Scratches were in hand with light green paint marks. Ok, there was no wood grain texture on these blocks, so that's how I did it. The base color was damaged with vertical lines. And later on, these subtle cracks gathered the dark wash effects. The whole surface was fixed with varnish and decals were applied. As you can see, decals were damaged according to the scratches they are covering. Here I had to add some chipping color. Brown filter for green decals was applied all over the tank except on the white stripes. Uh, which were dealt with brown for desert yellow. Time to render some life. A brown wash was added on panels and rivets. And the excess was removed with white spirit. Oil lights and shadow effects were just added on lower areas. I found that on the upper hole the effect looked too conspicuous. I love this part and I had a blast with the streaking session using streak products and rusty pigments. These effects were created mixing dark earth and Russian soil pigments plus engine oil effects. Loads of fun too working with the exhaust mixing a variety of rust pigments and shiny engine oil and fuel effects before the exhaust area. Can metal was dumped on these machine guns. And some areas were darkened a bit with a dark wash. And there you have it. Here I borrowed some of mine from Mickey Miller from his weather magazine, uh, the pigment number. Tracks were mapped with three rusty colors to give them variety. And these pigments were mixed on top of the tracks and they were fixed with thinner. Then the pigments were removed from friction surfaces and some wet effects were created mixing these products. And finally additional real soil mixed with pigments was added and fixed on key areas. Now we must need to work with the ion pigments and the graphite pencil. And we are done. So here you have it, I hope you liked the result, it certainly was a pleasure to build and paint. I like these old vehicles with the odd steampunk looks, and as you already know this is going to be part of a diorama where it will be portrayed as an abandoned tank, so probably there will be some additional weathering with a bit more of mine. On the next update I'm going to deal with the figures, and that's gonna be the empty box with the cavalrymen and uh, you may wonder how am I going to fit everything in the same scene? Well, I'm afraid you'll have to wait for the final update. Anyway, uh, keep having fun with the hobby and see you at the next one. I'm leaving you now with a few reveal pictures. Bye bye!